Hello and welcome to Movie Mayhem here at Suspiria Works Cinema where we watch all the movies. Today is another random movie review of the Ubaldo Terzani Horror Show. Uh, it's an interesting film. I got this from Raro Video. Now, I hadn't honestly heard of Raro Video until this year when they announced they were releasing Umberto Lindsay's Nightmare City. And I'm really glad I did. They have a great selection of amazing films on Blu-ray and DVD. But they had a, a special going where if I would bought a movie, I got this one for free. So I figured, why not? Let's try it. I wanted the other movie. I'd never heard of this. And this is an interesting film. It's director Gabriel Albanese's uh, second full-length film, uh, which they include his other other um, short film on here, which is not bad as well. And the name I knew from him directing the Simonetti's video for Dracula 3D, the music video they did, I'd seen his name there. So I didn't know what to expect. This is a 2010 made Italian horror film. Not a lot of that really going around anymore. Um, so I gave it a watch. The story focuses on a film director who, <laughs> cutely enough, wears a Rare Video t-shirt in, in a couple scenes. Um, he wants to make these horror movies, and he, the uh, his agent says, look, you know, this isn't the time of Lumberto Bava. You can't make these kind of movies anymore. So it's a nice, it, it's a really cool nod if you're a big fan of the Italian horror genre. It's got a lot of nods in there like that. The movie basically is only three characters, the director, his girlfriend, and the writer, who's Baldo Terzani, famous horror writer in the story. And our director, the agent says his scripts are weak, and he wants to have him branch out, so he needs to work with this Baldo Terzani to help write a new script. So he goes out and reads the author's books, which are very... Uh, I, I, my guess is that they, we don't really know what they are. They're not really jolly. They're more horror. And he has these nightmares, which have some cool gore. Uh, Sergio Stivellati did the uh, special effects. So you get some nice gore in here. Uh, it, is, it is shot on video, so you get that weird video clarity to it. But it works, and there's some very cool gore. Anyway, the stories are very disturbing. So when he finally meets the man, he's not sure what to take of it. And... Yeah, as can be expected, the acting is very good in this movie. I like it uh, from everybody. The acting is extremely solid, and, and it sells the story. It's a very small story, a very low-budget movie, but it works well. Um, he meets him, and he's a very creepy guy, as you would expect, but in a very mysterious way. He's also very suave, very worldly, very cool, very intelligent, and this kind of takes takes the main character by surprise, but at the same point has an air of mystery. And I want to avoid spoilers on this because I think it's worth checking out. If you're a fan of Italian horror, you should definitely see the movie. It's fun. It's uh, The acting makes it worthwhile. To have three characters in a 90-minute film and not get boring or, or just silly, I, I was impressed. Obviously, when I say there's only three characters, you know this is not a uh, this is not going to be a gore fest slasher movie. Most of the uh, death is in imagined states of some kind, but you get some cool cool gore in there. And the main character's progression and transition, while you might you might see it coming, it's still kind of cool. Um, this is a fun little little horror flick. Uh, there are boobs, which is always great. Uh, other than that, I, I recommend it. Um, I like Rare Video. They do good quality stuff. I, I would say uh, I'd give this uh, give the movie itself a nice 8 out of 10. Check it out. It's it's very entertaining. Very fun. Um, the release, however, by Rare Video, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe he works with the company or they know him, but this is a great Blu-ray release. The picture quality is fantastic. Uh, it's got its original short film, bunch of different extras, screen tests. 
I don't know what more you could have included in this type of thing. So I'm going to give the Blu-ray a 10 out of 10. Um, worth checking out. It's a fun flick. Um, seek it out. I'm not sure if you can rent it anywhere, but it's worth buying, I would say. Um, I liked it. Loved watching the extras. I'll definitely show it to some friends. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, leave me any comments. Tell me anything else you want to see reviewed. And we'll see you next time here at Movie Mayhem.